Hey guys, welcome to Chemical Outdoors. So you probably heard me in the last video say that hunting is not a game of inches. And that is 100% true. I back that statement up all the way to the end. That being said, when someone does happen to kill a very large mature buck, there's definitely reason to rejoice there. And I'm rejoicing right now. I'm celebrating right now because two weeks ago, during the middle of Kentucky's modern firearm season, I was able to harvest my number one hit this buck. Okay? And it was a great experience. I was there with my cousin. He got a doe. I got a buck. It all came together. But I want you to know something before you watch the video. My parents own around 70 acres here in, in Zone 1 of Kentucky, okay? In Zone 1 of Kentucky, you're allowed to kill as many does as you'd like, given you buy the correct tags. That being said, I want you to know that because I've been giving those opportunities, which I am very grateful for, and uh, they've, they've helped me a lot, I am able to pass on smaller deer, smaller bucks. A lot of people are not given that opportunity. I'm allowed to fill my, fill my freezer with doe meat in the early season and then move on to actually pass smaller bucks throughout the season and wait for a larger one to show up. I also want you to know that I haven't shot a buck for the past four years. This is the first year since 2012 that I've actually harvested a buck. I've passed up on a multitude of deer. I, I don't even remember how many I've passed up on. Probably probably way over 15 that are most people are considered shooters. And uh, this year I passed up a bunch of really nice bucks because I was going after this one specific buck. The chances that I get them, probably like 1.5%. I knew my chances were super slim, but it ended up working out, okay? Uh, because I was able to be patient and, and pass up on the smaller bucks and wait for my, my larger buck to actually mature and grow. This buck, so much history with him. I'm just thinking about it. The fact that it all works out, and you know he's going to be the taxidermist really soon. It's just crazy. It's mind-boggling to me uh, because you know last year I got pictures of him. I saw him last year. Uh, this year I saw him. This year I got pictures of him. Last year I found both his sheds. The history I have with his deer is truly just insane. Uh, so I'm very grateful, and I know I'm very fortunate to actually have been able to to harvest this deer and to have been given that chance. I'm very grateful. Uh, and I know that the opportunities I've been given here on my property are a lot better than a lot of other people have been given, okay? Uh, the fact that I'm able to pass up smaller bucks, okay, and still fill my freezer, that's, that's a great opportunity in and of itself. So anyway, I won't hold you any longer. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. And uh, thanks for watching Camera Crat Doors. I'm pretty sure you're going to like this video. It's, it, I put a lot of work into it because I wanted to do this animal justice. I don't think any video truly is ever going to do the animal justice because this is just a, a beast of a deer. Four and a half years old. Uh, I gross scored him at 141 inches, which is, which is crazy for my property, my area. Uh, but like I said, success is not in inches. My success for that, that whole hunt actually is being able to harvest a deer that I've got pictures of and a history with for the past two years. Uh, but I won't stall you anymore. I keep on rambling on about this because I'm just so excited about it. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching Camera Crat Doors. Please subscribe. There we go. It's pretty weird looking. He's got a crab claw. Have you noticed that every shell we found has that little knob on it? Yeah. That's right. pretty neat though. Yep. First. Guys, you're not going to move it. So I'm walking this field and I look over and boom, right there. So uh, I'm actually just walking in from shooting at the gun range. And I think, oh my gosh, it is. I found Tornado's other side. How did it get down here? I do not know because the hill where I found the other one on. It is about three quarters of a mile.
gosh, that was tornado. That was tornado. I thought that was him. No, that was him. That was dark antlers. Holy crap. First time me and you both got one the same day. Yeah, within three minutes of each other. I'm shaking so bad. That's why I'm like, you're so happy. I'm like, oh no, slow down. So you're like, calm down because there's a doe still right there. I mean, I took my time and I think I think I made a really good shot on it. Yeah. It looked like it was right behind the shoulder. Oh my gosh. Oh, thank you, sweet. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Meat in the freezer. <laughs> in the freezer. And, oh. I literally, I thought he, I mean, I thought this, I thought Tornado had been shot during first season of the week. Oh, wow, well, I can't even talk. First uh, week, opening weekend of gun season. But then I got pictures of him uh, this past Tuesday, and it's Saturday now. And he just ran up the hill. And he took off that way. <laughs> you recall your mom or dad? Oh, yeah. I just shot tornado. I just did. I shot him right behind the shoulder. He ran off to the left. I don't know. I think he's down. And Logan shot a doe and it ran 20 yards and died. Right? Yeah. Oh my gosh, Ruben. I can't believe I just. Yeah, I ran towards the river. I believe I see it. Man. Hey, Logan thinks he sees it. Um, tornado. Where's the binoculars? Oh, oh my god! I can't believe it. Me either. I just. I hope I find. I mean, I think I made a perfect shot. It I looked, looked like you did. It, I mean, it looked right behind the shoulder. I took my time and breathed out. And oh yeah, that's a tail. You, you see his tail? Oh, uh, that's a tail right there. You see it? That, that's what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh, he's down right there. <laughs> it is his tail, mom. He's down right in the field. Oh, thank you, Lord. <laughs> Four years of passing up on box. I got both his shirts from last year. He is a monster, Mom. I mean, he's, yeah, he's huge. Tall. As soon as he came out, I didn't even know it was him. And I was like, Logan, I'm shooting this one. Because, I mean, I just saw just a glimpse of his antlers. It was huge. But then I looked at him again. I'm like, oh, my gosh. He's got crab, crab claws in each antler. We saw the dude first, too. That's what you spotted. <laughs> thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I have a chicken this bad after going here. You're all oh over, my yeah. gosh. He's. Oh, mom. He's huge. 
What's up, guys? This is Ruben Stamper here from Camera Career at the Wars, and uh, this is my 2016 buck. We call him Tornado. Uh, he was in a bunch of our videos. I, I could not be happier right now. This is awesome. Uh, made a perfect shot on him right through his shoulder with my 270. 100-yard shot, just drilled him. He ran 40 yards and toppled over dead, so I couldn't be more happy about the kill shot. Uh, you know, all my family and friends are, that came here, that was awesome, too, and them experiencing this with me. Uh, this buck, I, I've got so many pictures of him. I've had encounters of him. I've recorded him. Uh, just, this is awesome. Uh, he's probably a 130-inch buck, but I just want this to be a testimony that, you know, I hunt on around, around a 70-acre property, and uh, I've, I've held out. I've seen a bunch of really nice bucks, and I haven't shot them, and I've waited for this guy, and I'm just telling you, if you're patient, you can have success on smaller properties. Uh, I, I just can't believe this happened this morning the way it did. You know, my cousin got a doe. I got this buck. Buck I've been waiting for for two years. I got pictures of him from November of last year. He's just, he is a monster for, for around here. Um, probably, like I said, a 130 inch deer. <sighs> Words cannot describe how happy I am right now. Well, thank you for watching Chemical Outdoors. Uh, stay tuned. Please subscribe. We'd appreciate it. And uh, thanks for watching this video.